Good morning to day seven of the Lofoten crossing. Ah, oh, already, yeah, it's already quarter past nine. I've packed my tent already, had coffee, packed my bag. So, ready to go. It's rather late, but I, my plan was to first go down to Musfjord, which is somewhere down there, three kilometers, just downhill and then along the road. Uh, just go down to Nusfjord and have a uh, see what the bakery <laughs> has to has on offer. I, I read some nice reviews, so I will have another coffee there and sandwich. Oh, I don't know. So that's why I didn't eat anything here. And the bakery there opens at 9.30, so there was no need to go down there earlier. Uh, okay, then today's uh, hike will be, uh, I think it was 17 kilometers from Newsford, so from here it will be 20 kilometers, which is okay, I think it's a very easy hike, I, it, it's pretty much flat, <laughs> well, low foot and flat, and nothing too crazy today, once we are in Newsford and there will be a path going uh, all the way to the southern end of this uh, island and then on the other side will the rest of the day will just be a gravel road uh, all the way to our destination which will be Rumberg and there I will stay at the campsite. There's also a supermarket so I can stock up again uh, with my snacks which I really need. I, I had a lot of snacks yesterday uh, and then I have to see if, uh, how many dinners I need and, and breakfast. Still have to calculate. But there's a good supermarket there. Should still be open until tonight 11 p.m. if Google Maps is correct. Otherwise tomorrow morning 9 should be open. This today is Monday. Should be normal working hours. All right, weather is good. Uh, the night was so far was the coldest. I'm not sure how cold it was. I still would say it was above 10. But all the other nights so far were pretty warm, yeah, so this night was the first one where I really had to get into the sleeping bag and close it, but then I was okay, you know? I, was not, I was not cold in the sleeping bag. But all the other nights I had the sleeping bag open because it's a three season sleeping bag and it's too warm if night temperatures is above 15 degrees or something, yeah, it's too warm. I just used it as a blanket. But last night, yeah, it was a bit colder. Uh, Maybe it's the location, I don't know. Also, I noticed first time this morning the tent was a bit wet from outside. Uh, condensation. Uh, also inside, so the the, um, the outside tent was wet from the outside and from the inside. <laughs> uh, I think it's condensation because uh, it seems like this, the ground here has a lot of moisture from the rain. And it was not wet when I camped there, so I checked, but still there's a lot of moisture in it. Yeah? And also there's a lake over there, so it's just a lot of moisture around here. And that then over the night it... Uh, uh, or maybe it was my own sweating, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> to cut it short, the uh, tent was a bit wet, so, but I kept... Uh, I, I, I packed it separately, the outside tent, and then uh, next campsite it, it can dry. Not a big deal. All right. Still 360. My neighbors up there have also left. I've never seen them in the evening. Just this morning they were having breakfast up on there, the, on the rocks. And then just waved at each other and everything was fine. But still they had the feeling of wild camping here. Yeah, could, could not see anyone. Okay. Enough talking, I am speed, let's roll. Camp was just there. <laughs> and the path is here. <laughs> so, it was clearly visible from the path, obviously, but uh, nothing to hide. And I have seen no one. This evening was no one walking by here. So far this morning, also no one. And if there was someone at night, then like, whatever. No problemo. What? No, no problemo? Yeah, okay, let's go. It's 
still think it was a very good decision to have that break day uh, two days ago when it was raining. Imagine the stage yesterday along the shore, along the coast, just in fog, in rain, miserable me, that, that dodgy climb up there in the rain. No, 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 no. So I think that was a very good decision. I think if I look back, I had some good decisions, so they all make sense. Second night, also stayed upgraded to the room at the campsite. It was good, yeah, for my for my health and for the weather and for the mental health for everything that was necessary. And then what else did I do? The the taxi <laughs> I don't regret. <laughs> it was just the quickest solution. And what other things? Well the shortcut I took on the road. I also don't mind. <clears throat> just not interested in going up there, so I just wanted to have the shortest, most effective possible route to Lekness in order to do my shopping. Because at that time I did not know yet that next day it would be my break day, that it was bad weather there. Yeah. So far, good decisions. Let's hope I continue with those good decisions. Well, personally, it's like for me, yeah, good decisions. I don't know if it's good decisions for you or interesting or... Pff, pff, I don't care. Yeah, of course I care that you like the videos. I want to deliver some content here, yeah. But I don't care that much that I risk my health yeah? or that I risk having fun here. It's my vacation. I pay for it paid for the flight so I want to have fun I want to have good weather I make the rules if I want to have a room I pick a room if I want to stay on the campsite campsite if I feel like wild camping it's wild camping <laughs> I hope that makes sense okay I'm on the road now the road to stay on this road until Nusfjord not much traffic in the morning here, so far. There's quite some construction going on. There was a construction site there. There's also something going on here. I don't know what that is. Actually, it's not construction. It could be like a fish farm because of... If you look at the nets, it looks like they want to keep the birds away. So I wonder if there's something there in the water that the birds might like and that might be fish. Campsite was somewhere there where the cables are. Well, you cannot see the cables through the white angle GoPro, but I put an arrow there for you. Okay, getting closer to Nusfjord. Almost there. That's where we are going.
<laughs> Best cinnamon roll. That was great. <clears throat> Actually, at one cinnamon roll and two of those other cakes, really full now and ready to hike. Pretty. It's like a museum village. People come here and pay entrance and get a little map and then many of these houses are open and you can look inside. Let's now go to the harbor front. Okay, it's almost lunch time. Spent a lot of time here looking around, having coffee, using the toilet. <laughs> okay. I will walk a little bit out now because it's getting busy here now with people. Then I will quick stop again to put on sunscreen because the sun is burning again. And then finally we go <laughs> 17 kilometers to Ramberg. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Why do I always say yeehaw? By Nussfjord. That's nice. Whew. I feel the sugar level in me. <laughs> wow! But it tastes so good. Mm. Normally I would not eat three of those pieces, but just having in mind that I burn like 2,500 to 3,000 or even more calories per day, and I don't eat that much. The dinner I eat has 600 calories maybe, porridge in the morning, and then three to four little muesli bars or some nuts during the day. Oh, that's not 3000 calories. That's why I'm losing weight here, definitely. And that's the cool thing about these hikes. When you burn so much, you can also, you can just eat what you want. <laughs> just have to make sure that when you're back home, you are able to switch back to normal eating. Yeah, I had problems last time when I came back from West Highland Way, Scotland. I was used to be able to eat what I want. So, and then first week at home I just ate, ate, ate and then put on two kilos again that quick. 
Bring here some accommodation. Now I will have a little look uh, if there's any camping spots available here. But for sure not close to the houses. But it's now the area where yeah, between uh, North Yacht and and uh, next hike. So I'm a bit up now, and this looks like camping spots there. This for a small tent. However, it's also very close to the houses down there, and yeah, I don't think it's that's nice. So I wonder if this. All these houses they were built just lately because there's construction going on. So well, maybe they were not here one or two years ago, three years ago, when they recommended this area for camping. Well let's see, maybe some more coming. I mean it's a big area here. Um, if you look around, I'm sure you find a flat spot that at least is out of sight from the houses. So I'm a bit elevated here now, as you saw in the drone shot, and I see plenty of camping here. This is just all... This is just <laughs> free choice. Yeah, you can camp up here. There are like so many flat spots. It's like endless. So I really don't know where, these, where that one couple from yesterday was looking. When, when they said, yeah, we came along here, around Nussfjord and couldn't find anything. I think they just looked too close to, to the village, because I remember uh, they said, yeah, they wanted to have pizza for dinner and wanted to be, be close to the village. Uh, yeah, close to it, there's, there's nothing. But here, that's 20 minutes, I, I think, maximum. Yeah, and I'm already far away, you can even get closer, just make sure if you camp there, know that it's out of sight from the houses. I think that's nice. Uh, you are 150 meters away, that's, that's not, a, not the problem, but just to be nice to the people, uh, be out of sight, I would say. Yeah, that's my recommendation as a professional wild camper. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So the path is winding left, right, up, down, here through this landscape. The mile when it's going up again, I think somewhere there. Oh, that looks like fun. Yeah. I don't know if the camera can capture it against the sunlight. There's a ladder, <laughs> quite a long ladder. Ooh, adventure. So it's a rope and a ladder. <laughs> oh, fully against the sunlight. Ooh, luxury here. <laughs> okay.
Looks like a sturdy ladder. Not a problem here. Hoop. Okay, how about now? I think the leaf here to the left. Yeah. Oops, sorry camera. Boom. Done. <laughs> you back. I was joking. Luxury over there because there was a rope and the ladder. But it's true. On other days, other hikes. There would have been nothing. And you have to climb your way up. It was like that yesterday, even steeper, much steeper yesterday. Ah, look at this view. A little bit of rock hopping here. <laughs> Came from around the corner. Then this way. Let's go up there. And now I have to go whoops, uh, around there again and down. Uh, at least it's marked. <laughs> now there's the chain. Yeah. Thanks. Root builders for the help here. Now we are in the deep jungle again. <laughs> so be quite careful. Sometimes there are junctions and then can go left or right and then yeah sometimes not so clear I went a bit wrong there up there and I thought okay left one looks bigger footsteps but ended up on the viewpoint and the correct one was the downhill smaller path which is bigger here now of course and there you can see the red marker spectacular spectacularmente <laughs> So down there is the road, the gravel road. So path goes, I'm not exactly sure, it goes down there. And then from here on, it will be the gravel road around all the way to Ramberg. on the road for half an hour now yeah. we have to become friend friend with the road we have to become one the road I'm the road the road is me we are one we are both speed 
<laughs> oh, not that bad. A couple of cars coming here and then, but they go very slow, of course. Here and there on the left hand side, on my left hand side. Yeah. Camper vans parking there. Or, I mean, camping there. <laughs> Some tents over there, but that's, I think they're fishing here. I think I'm halfway in the road walking here. Should be another five kilometers maybe until Ramberg. Uh, that's fine. Bit of a cold wind picked up, but other than that, I had a longer break now. Now I feel good again. Uh, one thing important to mention is that there's no drinking water here. Since I am on the road, since the end of the path, and the end of the hiking path, there's no water. So it would be would have been a good idea to fill my fill up my bottle uh, before I started walking on the road. Yeah. Now I have to live with it. Uh, it's not, I still have a little bit of water. I'm not sweating here. It's not too hot. But just in case you have to walk this, it's super warm and you have no water, that would definitely suck. Road has changed to a paved road, which I feel has way much harder. Does this sentence make sense? <laughs> okay, it feels much harder, uh, literally, because it's very hard for the feet. And this is, has the potential of giving blisters. So whenever I have the chance, I leave the paved road just to give a little, give the feet a little change. Oh, okay, that's. Almost 6 p.m. Okay, I'm in Ramberg now. Ramberg. It is quarter to seven. I was half an hour walking uh, along the E10 main road. It was not so pleasant. It's not a lot of traffic, but still there is traffic. And it's kind of not dark, but not super bright daylight anymore. I wear a red shirt at least, but all the cars have lights on. So whenever there's a car coming, I make sure I, I, I always, you know, in, in my head, uh, I think of the worst. I always expect that they don't see me. So yeah, then only if I, if I'm really see that they see me, then I can move free. Ooh. So, I already did all my shopping, uh, all the dinners, all the snacks, all the porridges I need until the end of the Lofoten crossing. <laughs> uh, this supermarket is very nice here. It has the uh, trekking food that I use in the evening, you know, this, this dried food, many calories. Uh, ah. The supermarket here in Ramberg is very nice. It has this, this dry food, this dry trekking food that I use uh, or that you have already have seen in the videos. Different brand, but uh, same thing. Many calories and you just add water and then it tastes very nice. <laughs> it's very light to carry. Of course it's expensive, <laughs> but I knew they have it here so I didn't have to carry so much from Legnus or for, even from home. All right, at the campsite here. 
going to check in and then see where I can whoo, yeah, see where I can set up my tent. Vegetarian pasta with vegetarian bolognese. Okay, dinner's ready. Let's see how that tastes like. <laughs> mm. Mm. Good evening! With the sunset behind me, I'm giving some final words for today's hike or for today. Today was day 7 already, so tomorrow day 8 of the Lofoten crossing. And yeah, uh, I'm at the campsite there, Ramberg campsite, somewhere there in the back. I moved away from there now to talk to you guys, talk to the camera, because it's quite busy there, yeah. It's fully booked. Only well some couple of places for tents maybe left. Otherwise completely full. Camper vans, all the cabins are taken. Uh, so why? Did I go to that campsite? Uh, yeah, there's a reason, a uh, personal reason. <laughs> it's memories, basically. I've been here a couple of years ago. Uh, in winter, actually, March. And stayed here with my girlfriend in one of the cabins. And yeah, we watched the aurora here <laughs> behind me, there. And it's just memory, memory lane, you know. Uh, just wanted to see it again. Because when I planned the Lofoten crossing, I realized, oh, this campsite would be on the way. That's the only reason. And also, of course, I don't mind that extra shower and having a yeah, safe spot before the end of the Lofoten crossing of the of the hike starts because now it will be day 8 uh, wild camping, day 9 wild camping, day 10 wild camping, so three nights of wild camping and then day 11 is already the finish so fingers crossed that all works out just before I arrived in Ramberg I met uh, the two guys who overtook me yesterday, just before I arrived at uh, my white campsite, and they, yeah, they had done their shopping in Ramberg and were on the way to find a wild camping spot. And yeah, I don't know if you're already here in Ramberg, it's a bit complicated. I don't know, but not complicated. I haven't really looked if there's a place, but uh, they were heading to, what did they say, uh, to the bridge, well tomorrow I have to cross a bridge to another island, and they said yeah, the, um, just before the bridge there are some recommended wild camping spots. It's true, uh, those are the spots that are uh, described and suggested on that Lo uh, um, Lofoten crossing website it does sound really good to me to be honest because it will be 
right next to the main road and it's not a, not a cool spot anyway I wish them good luck I hope they already found a good spot about tomorrow's hike I will talk tomorrow <laughs> uh, today I would say it was a rather easy day a lot of food in uh, Nusfjord <laughs> I actually just wanted to go there for breakfast but then I spent the two hours just eating and have a quick look around and then yeah from 10 to 12 I think I was hanging out there so I started rather late then and then I think the first maybe five kilometers then of the hike were along the, the shore the coastline up and down left right really interesting path very well maintained very interesting pretty cool good weather <laughs> yeah and then the ending was a bit uh, most of the kilometers today were along the road more than 10 kilometers I would say even 12 kilometers I will put the exact kilometers down there in the video there there <laughs> yeah it was a bit too much but I, I know and, and, and probably it was the designers of the Lofoten crossing days I think on today they just didn't find didn't find a, a, a better route at least it was not the main road uh, uh, main yeah main road was very quiet but still it was like 10 kilometers along the road yeah that was very my feet started fuming <laughs> hurting for sure especially then in the end when uh, when it was not a dirt road anymore but asphalt that really hurt but seems to be no blisters so that's good anyway <laughs> I've already walked all along the beach here I should head back it's just too nice I think I will walk a little bit now for myself and think a little bit and then walk back to my tent and get ready for the night it is uh, check. Yeah, 20 minutes past 10. Bedtime for little hikers. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for enjoying the stay with me today. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next video. And until then. I'm speed, you're all speed, the beach is speed, the sunset is speed, everything is speed. <laughs> oh, okay, I better say good night. Good night, guys. Hey, okay, on my way. <laughs> That's not the way. <laughs> Stay safe, everyone, including me. Sun is shining, but it's also burning. At the moment, it's a bit of madness here. There's so many people. Oh, I've missed you. <sighs> yeah, it's climbing through the rocks here. Yes, yeah, we're slippery. I don't know, and I'm tired. My muscles don't want anymore, so I slipped three times, fell two times. <laughs>